Number one, he listens to you. He doesn't ignore you or let you speak and talk and does not grasp anything from the conversation. He has listened to you. He has absorbed whatever you've told him and he will apply it where need be, okay? Um, he knows how you feel when you're feeling a certain way. He knows your emotions and how you act when you're sad, when you're happy. He pays attention to you and your emotions so he knows when you're not happy and he will ask you know what's wrong um he wants to protect you from anything you know like um he might say well don't do that because you know this is bad for you um or he doesn't want you coming home like at, at night without you know him like in a bad area um, he just makes it known that he wants to protect you in some type of way okay <clears throat> he wants to help you he wants to help you do things he wants to be of assistant assistance to you he wants to help you you know learn grow um, financially um, health wise whatever he wants to help you with something okay um, he wants to learn from you as well. He will ask your opinion. He values your opinion. He values you, your teachings, your knowledge, your spirituality. He learns from that as well. He doesn't know everything. He includes you and asks, you know, what your thoughts are on certain things, you know. Um, <clears throat> he tells you he loves you just because. There's no reason he doesn't want sex. He doesn't want a favor. He doesn't want you to do this or that. He's just telling you just because, okay? Because he's thinking about you. Okay. Um, he speaks of you and him in the future together. Like if y'all aren't already married. But he speaks of his future and you're included in there. His future plans include you and he talks about it. Okay? Um, and last but not least... He doesn't want to possess you, but he wants you to be happy. So he's not over controlling, but he's, I'm sorry, y'all, my hair in my, way, in my face. But he wants to see what makes you happy. He wants you to be happy and free and blah, 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 blah. And he's not intimidated by other people because he knows that the love between you and him and that his love for you is real. So he doesn't have really anything to really worry about. Um, so he's not trying to be possessive, okay? He wants what's best for you. Um, for example, he's not going to say, oh, you can't go here because, you know, I say you can't go here. If going there makes you happy, he's going to say, okay, go have fun. Call me. Let me know you're okay. Let me know you're safe. Blah, 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 blah. He's not going to be intimidated by outside forces because he wants you to be happy, okay? Now, <clears throat> the reason I did this list... It's because some women get confused. They don't know when a man loves them or not. They don't know that just because a man is sitting there while they blah, 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 blah while they're talking to him, doesn't mean they're listening. It, they're just sitting there, okay? So you have to ask him questions to make sure he was listening and like tell him a story, right? And say, oh, well, they had on this color socks or something stupid. And then finish the story and then say, were you even were you listening to me? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I then say, well, what color socks did this person have on then if you were really listening? And if he remembers, he was listening. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, and like when he knows how you feel, that means he pays attention to his actions and your reactions. 
meaning he's emotionally involved. If if he doesn't know how you feel, if he doesn't know when you're in a bad mood or a good mood, he doesn't pay attention enough to you. And he, he's not thinking about you and he's not in love with you. You're just there. Okay. Um, okay. So he wants to protect you. If you're, if he tells you to come out in the middle of the night in a high crime area to come meet him somewhere, uh, instead of him going to your house, he doesn't want to protect you. Okay. If you're, if he walks with you on the outside of the street where oncoming traffic can come and kill you, or somebody can come and kidnap you instead of on his inside, he's not trying to protect you. And some men just don't know this because, you know, it's not taught. But if if you don't feel like he's worried about your best interest and your safety at all for some reason, that's another clue. Okay. Okay. So he wants to help. If you're doing all this work, if you're slaving, if you're washing dishes, if you're cooking, if you're sweeping and mopping and helping kids with homework, grocery shopping and all stuff, and he doesn't offer to help you one little bit and he sees you doing all of this and he doesn't feel empathy towards you or want to lend a helping hand and he's just sitting on the couch or whatever he's doing or playing his video game. Mm -mm. That's not a good sign. <laughs> okay, so he wants to learn from you. If your man thinks he knows everything and that you can't teach him nothing and that he knows everything and he's going to teach you and whatever you have to say is dumb and doesn't make sense and it's not worthy of his ears and makes you feel stupid or dumb, that's not love, okay? <clears throat> um, when he tells you he loves you just because. If your man only tells you he loves you uh, during certain times when he wants something from you rather than just out of the blue and for no reason and just blah, 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 that's another sign because he's using that to get what he wants, okay? Um, if he doesn't, if he doesn't speak about you and his future, if he says, man, I, if he's, I, 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 I want to do this. I want to go here. And when I get my check, I'm going to go buy me some shoes next week. Oh, when I, when I get that, I'm going to, I'm, I'm traveling to, you know, wherever. If you're not included in those plans and he's thinking like solo and you're not included, that's another sign that he doesn't see you in his future and that he probably don't love you. Okay. Okay. So last one, possession. When he when he confuses love with possession, that's that's a huge clue. When if he doesn't want you going anywhere, if he's super jealous, if he says you can't do this, you can't do that because we're together and that's not right, and, and he's just totally insecure, he doesn't really love you because he's not concerned about with your happiness and what's best for you. He's only worried about how he feels and how he can control you and how he doesn't want you doing certain things because it makes him feel insecure okay so it's all about him 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 so these are signs to look out for when you're in a relationship and you don't know whether it's a dead-end relationship if this guy loves you if you need to move on if you need to do a plan b if you need to um have the talk okay how, how do you feel about me? Do you love me? You know, all that kind of um, And also, it's a way to, you know, understand your position, okay? If you're, if you're not loved and you're just there filling a role of a woman, just to have a woman, and you're not getting all this, then either you can leave to go find it somewhere else or you can accept it and live like that so it's kind of up to you but the signs are always there there are more signs in this y'all these are just a few i came up with um to show people because some people think just because you're in their presence and they and they come home to you every day that, that they love you but that's just not true okay some people think if they sit there and uh, <clears throat> teach you and tell you all this stuff and uh want to improve you and, and want to change your mind, your spirituality, all this kind of stuff that they care about you, but not really. They're just, they're trying to convert you into their way of thinking. It's not love. Love is compromise. Love is saying, okay, well, you have your beliefs. I respect you and I'm going to have mine. And I know, you know that you respect me. I'm not going to force you into something you're not ready for just because I believe it's right because we are two individuals. Okay. So if somebody's trying to force their belief system on you, convert you, do this, this, that's not love. That's control. Okay? So you have to be careful 
not to confuse these these things because if they don't have your best interest in mind if they're not trying to help you if they're not doing all of these things to promote you then it's not love it's then it's possession okay and y'all know I always quote Michael Jackson so I've learned that love is not possession <laughs> but he learned much too late but I learned much too late and she's out of my life. <laughs> All right, y'all. I don't have my voice back fully as y'all can tell, but um, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. Um, and leave me a comment about what you think. Okay, right. bye.